We are now on the fifth diagram, and this time the object is located between the focal point and the vertex. Doon na kaayo ang object to the concave mirror. Where do you think the image be located this time? Let's find out. First, we need to do PF ray. P is a ray of light parallel to the principal axis. P is just a horizontal line parallel to the principal axis. Next, we need to have the reflected ray called F ray. Reflected passing through the focal point so this is our p f ray next is the f p ray do you think we can perform the f p ray here is it possible for us to perform the f p ray no it is not possible since although we can have a ray of light passing through the focus but there's no more mirror here where the f ray would be reflected so wala na a uh, mirror in this side to perform the p ray so f p ray cannot be done in this diagram next let's choose between cc ray and v ray so let's perform the cc ray this time so, CC ray is a ray of light directed towards the center of curvature. So, it is a ray of light starting here, going to the mirror, and reflected to the center of curvature. So, this time, we have two reflected rays in front of the mirror, okay? So, did they intersect or meet at a specific point? No. So... Can we say that there's no image formed in this diagram? Not yet. If the reflected ray meets at the back of the mirror. Using this time, we use virtual rays. So let's extend the reflected ray at the back of the mirror to see if they intersect at a specific point. Yes. Shark. Oh, there's a shark. Okay. So the second reflected ray is this one. Okay, did the extended reflected rays meet at a specific point? Yes, more or less at this point. So the two reflected rays intersect at that specific point. So let me just extend our principal ray here at the back of the mirror and let's draw the image so for the fifth diagram if the object is located between the focal point and the vertex the image is formed at the back of the mirror so let's describe the location now and that is at the back of the mirror or behind the mirror the orientation is upright or erect its image is bigger compared to the object right so it is enlarged and the type of image formed is this time the image is formed at the back of the mirror that's why we call it virtual image